love you guys and thank y'all for tuning in to Chris Coes. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button because you know you want to. And it helps my channel grow. Notification bell so you're notified whenever I drop new content. Comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so this Foolish Friday is going to be pretty quick. It's just a little short clip. I have another um, topic I want to talk about, but I'll probably use that for the next Foolish Friday just because I got a lot to do today. So this Foolish Friday is about um, this actor, um, Little Meech or Lil Meech. He's on one of the hit shows now, uh, BMF. I have not seen the show, but apparently it's really good, especially um, it's like a buzz in the Atlanta area. You know, I live in Georgia but he's in this club and this girl is like you know well i'll i'll um just show you all the clip and then we'll come back and we'll talk about how what i was thinking when watching this and some stuff we can learn from the foolishness <laughs> all right so cue the clip you all saw that clip and it was very short very brief but it's a lot we could take out of this <laughs> first off Tell me in the comments how you all felt about his reaction to the girl talking about, you know, show me your drip, show me your drip, stuff like that. Tell me all, tell me what you all thought about that, his reaction. So in my opinion, now me, I am a prime example of people that, that don't like to be touched. So I can kind of feel where he's coming from with that. Like for you all that, I don't know if I've ever talked about or uh, mentioned in my like story times and stuff like that, that I worked at a spa, but I worked at a spa where we could get massages like free of charge occasionally. And I didn't get them. I got the facial stuff like that, but not the massages. I'm just not the person that really likes to be touched like that. So I felt him on that. Now did I think it was a bit aggressive, but guys, some guys are just kind of aggressive like that. And then they say that actors kind of take, the, take over their role. And I think his dad, I think he's playing his dad in the show. So his dad's like this big time gangster or whatever. So it's kind of like, he probably already has that type of attitude, you know, like a kind of very aggressive or like type of man, you know? So it's not surprising that he would kind of come off like that, but she was just like kind of taken back by it. But so, yeah, so I'm going to say I don't necessarily disagree with his reaction. So let's get into some of the other things I want to talk about about this clip. Let's go. Okay. So another thing I want to talk about is the idolizing. Okay. Like, these women will see these guys on movies or shows. You'll see these quote unquote celebrities and, you know, rappers and all that in the third. And all of a sudden they're like, you know, God's gift. <laughs> you know, you just got to get their attention. You got to get some praise. You know, you got to get a little validation from them. Or when you see them, you look at them as better than, you know. Why? Because he on TV, you know what I mean? Or why? Because he rap or he got a little money, you know? <laughs> you know, and it's just like, it's, that is the problem too in this scenario. It's just like, if that was a regular Joe Smo on a corner, you wouldn't be, let me see your drip. Let me see your drip. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't be doing all of that. If, well, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't be doing that at all, but... I'm just saying, I'm, I highly doubt she would just be, you know, trying to be extra and get a regular guy's attention. And you got to kind of put yourself in his perspective. Like, it's probably a lot of girls trying to get his attention. So the best thing that you could have done was just to play it cool. You know, laid back. Like, I'm not pressed because that's what it was given. It was given very much. Let me see a drip. <laughs> Let me see a drip. Okay. And. It's, it's just, it gives off very, very desperate, very like thirsty, very pick me, pick me. Let me see a drip. <laughs> you know? So I'm just like, I'm like, it was just very, I got that like, 
kind of like dose of embarrassment for her because it was just so very cringy so very cringy and we can say all we want that he didn't have to do her like that he didn't have to be rude like that and so on and so forth but if the tables were turned we'd be like ew get away from me <laughs> you know ew, get off of me. Oh, as if. you know what i mean like that's how, that's how i see that and like finally it's just like you gotta me personally i'm like if you want me and i want you okay cool but i'm not about to be going out my way trying to get get a man to want me or to like me or so on and so forth i'm not about to do that i'm not about to do that <laughs> you know because that that takes me down a notch and now you look at me like oh she should be lucky to have me no sir no sir <laughs> you should be lucky to have me okay and it's like it's not it's not about being vain or and it's not about like oh you know i'm the best thing since sliced bread no it's just about like sometimes you gotta remind people your worth who you are you know like you're that guy but i'm also that girl so you're gonna treat me as such i'm not gonna be that drip you know <laughs> i'm not gonna be doing all that i'm not gonna be chasing you around the place or you know trying to pop up at all your meet and greets like a weirdo i'm not about to do that not, not calling her a weirdo but you know what i'm saying like the crazed fan the groupie vibes like no and then and then a lot of people don't know what, what that lifestyle comes with too do you really want a man that has that many options <laughs> like let alone i don't know if you all for the girlies that have dated attractive guys they get enough options as, as it is you know what i mean nowadays they don't even have to try they don't have to try the women are just out here they're just out here hot and ready <laughs> okay so just imagine a guy that's on tv that's making a little bit of money that has a little no notoriety and we're in atlanta he could probably get whatever chick he wants so if he's not paying you no mind you shouldn't be paying him any mind you need to treat these people like they're people because they're people <laughs> people are people whether they're on tv radio um the news whatever whatever standing on the podium people are people so stop trying stop stop overdoing it stop chasing stop you know being thirsty and pick me ish because what's for you is for you and you don't have to what's that drip to get a man's attention if he wants you he wants you and if he don't he don't yeah <laughs> so i gotta go i have so much to do today i know this foolishness friday was super short but i hope you all still enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you all thought about the situation was he rude was he like giving very much big-headed egotistical or did he do her a favor he like look you had one more time before I had my security hop on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. But tell me in the comments what you all thought about this situation. And yeah, I will see you all for the next video. Love you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button because you know you want to. It helps my channel grow. Notification bell so you notified whenever I drop new content. Comment, subscribe, and yes, see you all later. Bye.